reporter should be calling any minute. <sighs> Can you believe we made the cut? Finance Magazine's most successful women in business. Okay, so I thought maybe we should go over a few things before the interview. It's not rocket science, Kendall. I know how to promote my own company. Our company. Whatever. Okay. We have an agreement, Greenlee. Now, I know you may not want to be my friend anymore, You mean since you but... slept with my fiancé? But we are partners at Fusion. We agreed to work on this as a team. Fine. Good. Great. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. We can't wait to see the article. Are you sure you don't have time for a few more questions? We never really got into your personal life. Uh, we really should get back to work. Dedication, remember? <laughs> well, thanks to you both for a very enlightening interview. <sighs> Can you believe her? Yeah, what kind of questions were those asking about our social lives? Well, ones that we were smart enough not to answer. Not truthfully, anyway. Yeah, it was weird. I was starting to feel like we were answering some gossip magazine questions. Totally. She was digging for dirt. Yeah, well, we didn't give her any. But I could have. Tons. Right. Because God forbid we ever let this go. Let's just hold on to the hate and anger until it wrecks everything we've worked so hard for. You're blaming me? I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just asking when this will all be over. I don't know, Kendall. What's the time frame on getting over your best friend doing your fiancé? You want to kill me, Greenlee? Fine. But I will not let you kill Fusion. I don't think you're in a position to decide what I will and won't do. Oh, my God. What do you want, Greenlee? You want revenge? Is that what you want? You want to throw yourself at my husband so he can reject you again? <laughs> I don't have to sleep with Zach. We're close enough already. I'm glad you and Zach are friends. Oh, we're way more than that. You're trying to make me believe that you had sex? Please. I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about what happens between two people who think they're sharing their final moments on this earth. There's nothing more intimate than that. When Zach and I fell in that hole, we hated each other. We came out best friends. Oof, I wouldn't go that far. I know what a best friend is, Kendall. It's someone that you can always rely on and who can always rely on you. And you think you have that with Zach? I know I do. He's the only one. Okay, well, you use the word intimate. To me, that means sex. Well, then you've never had real intimacy. Of course I have. Have you? Have you ever connected with a person so deeply you knew they'd never leave you no matter what? Have you ever trusted someone so completely you showed them parts of yourself you never show anyone? So you're saying that Zach told you secrets? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't get it. We thought we were dead. There were no more secrets, no lies, no barriers. All we had was each other and total truth. Truth about what? Everything. I already know the total truth about Zach. Come on, Kendall. You know better than anyone. Husbands and wives don't tell each other everything. How did your big interview go? I could kill her. Okay, you want to kill Greenlee? Why? What happened? Nothing. Uh, we just, this, we had the interview tonight and the reporter asked these questions and Greenlee gave a stupid answer. It annoyed me. Mm. It was very annoying. So, but, but I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine and everything's fine. And you're fine. <laughs> I love you so much. Do you have any idea? No, I, I get it, and I <laughs> love you back. Yeah? I do. Mm. 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 Oh, Zach. I'm so lucky to have you. When I think of what we have, I feel sorry for everybody else. 
especially Greenlee. She has no idea what it's like to be with a man like you. How about a drink? Want a drink? Sure. Uh, no, no, no. You stay. You relax. I will take care of my husband for a change. Okay. So, you know what? I have a great idea. Why don't I drive over to your favorite Italian place, get you some dinner, maybe a nice bottle of wine, and then maybe after dinner we could, uh, we could take a nice, long, hot bath. Why, why are you doing this? Doing what? Why are you trying to play me again? Fixing you a drink and uh, uh, picking up dinner for you. How is that playing you? You gotta give me some credit. I know you really well. It just seems a little forced. I was trying to be nice. Jeez. Next time I come home, I'll make sure to be a real bitch. Kendall? Yes? What happened? Nothing. What? Zach, what rule did I break now? You don't want me to dote on you? No, no, I want that. What I don't want is you lying to me again. No, 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 no. Let's get you all worked up. Greenlee promised that she wouldn't let what happened with me and Aiden get in the way of work. But? But it did. Uh, for the interview tonight, we were supposed to show the world the cohesive, united force behind Fusion, and Greenlee almost screwed it up. Almost? Yeah. She went on and on about how great it is working so closely with a friend. That doesn't sound so bad. Zach, the goal was to highlight how well we worked together at Fusion. Not, not to remind me how amazing it used to be before I screwed it up. But in the end, everything was okay. Yeah, after some major backpedaling. Why do you do that? Why do you do what? You defend Greenlee all the time. Defending anybody. I'm just saying in the end, everything was all good. No, That's no but it's good. not all good, Zach. It's not even close. Greenlee took the mistake that I made, which I have profusely apologized for, and she used it to sabotage Fusion. Okay, a couple of things. Number one, I don't think she sabotaged Fusion just from the sound of it. Number two, she's got a right to feel the way she feels right now. Right. Well, you know, a saint Greenlee can do no wrong. Huh. Well, she feels the same way about you. Don't worry. I'm not worried. I made a mistake, okay? I'm the first to admit that. I messed up. But you know what? I wasn't the only one who lied to her and kept her in the dark about what happened. You were right there with me. I was. Okay, so why am I the only one getting dumped on? Why do you get a free pass and I don't? Because you slept with her fiance. What do you want? Support, understanding. All the things you so eagerly give to Greenlee. All I've given you is support and understanding. Why do you care if I give the same to Greenlee? Why Be do you care? Because, Zach, I'm your wife. I know you're my wife. I married you. I love you. But you defend her, and you, you always defend her, and you treat her... I treat her with respect? Is that, is that okay? She's a very important woman in my life. What do, you, do you want to apologize for that? No, no, I'm not asking you to apologize. What are you asking me to do? Turn my back on her and not talk to her? Is that it? It seems a little ironic, considering... Con considering what? You've been forcing her down my throat for years, and now finally things are okay, and... And, and, I, and I wreck it all? Well, in a way, yeah. What do you want from me? Come on, I... I love you always, only you. You gotta remember that. Of course, I do, I do. But Greenlee said... I don't care what Greenlee says. Listen to what I say. She's my friend, nothing more. I have a feeling that she sees things differently. I don't care how she sees things. It doesn't matter. It does, Zach. It does no, matter. No, it matters because you let it matter. Why does everybody get to dictate who we are? Everyone except us. It's enough. 
Why is this making you so angry? Well, because all I'm, all I'm trying to do is let things go, get past this, and you won't let us. How am I stopping this? Because us? you're holding on to everything. Everything. You and Aiden made a mistake. I'm trying to move past it. And Greenlee says something stupid, something inconsequential, and here we are in a beautiful living room fighting about it. What is that? Okay, so basically what you're saying is you're above it all and I'm the petty idiot. Is that what you're saying? I, no, I, no, that's, no, that's not what I'm, what I'm saying is you gotta let some things go so we can move on. I can't, how can I? It's in my face all the time. Well, tune it out. I can't. It, it's connected. Greenlee and Aiden, no, you and me. No, it's not connected. Aiden and Greenlee, that's them. You and me, that's us. It's different. So believe in that, believe in us. Can you do that? I do. You do? Yes. But it's not enough, is it? I asked you a question. Is what we have enough or not? I believe in us, Zach, more than anything. All right, act like it. Focus on us and our kids. Stop obsessing about Greenlee. Okay, but when, when you've been through as much as Greenlee and I have, it, she's a part of me. And you told me you understood that. No, I do understand. But when your relationship with her interferes with your relationship with me, then I gotta stop it. What do you want me to do? No, she's my sister, Zach. We're, we're sisters, okay? I can't just ignore what she says. All right, perfect. We gotta do something, because this isn't working. No, I, I can't, I can't, not now. Not when she's sending these signals. What signals? Forget it. No, you still, what, what signals? What are you talking about? Greenlee stole Ryan, okay? I loved him, and she took him. And now it feels like maybe history is repeating itself. I'm not Ryan. I won't let her take you away from me. No, I can see that. You're just gonna push me away. No, Zach. Zach, come on, please. Again, unreal. Damn it, pick up. Zach, hey, it's me. Uh, can you just call me, please? Or actually, can you just come home? We need to finish this conversation. I love you. Come on, ring. Zach, don't do this to me. Last time you walked out on us, Disappeared with Greenlee. Come on, Zach, where are you? Greenlee stole Ryan, okay? I loved him and she took him. And now it feels like maybe history is repeating itself. Where were you? I've been freaking out. Where have you been? I just needed some time. I get that, but where? What, Zach, you don't want to tell me? Come on. <sighs> Come on what? You already made up your mind where I was, I was... Meaning? It's the Greenies, right? Why would I think that you were with Greenlee? To even the score. Well, maybe I thought it was time for the other shoe to drop. Zach, come on. You got such a problem with my friendship with Greenlee. No, so... I just, I know and how you think Greenlee is. I'm like Ryan already. No, that, and that's not what I Ryan meant. Ryan picked Greenlee over you, so, you know, I'm just following in his footsteps. No. No, what? No. It's exactly what you said. So I'm just trying to move things along a little bit. So you slept with Greenlee. What really happened? Where were you? You weren't with Greenlee. You're not sure. I don't think that you were with Greenlee. 
think I slept with her? There's a vote of confidence. Well, I don't think that you slept with her. I just, it's just, I don't know. You, you've been gone for hours, and you, you come home looking like you just got out of the shower. Yeah. Well, that's what men do after they cheat on their wives. It's also what men do after they go to the gym. That's where you were? Yeah. Blown off some steam. Uh, okay, you know what? I guess I am a little bit paranoid. I'm sorry. I do trust you. But you like to test me, don't you? You like to push me away to make sure that I come back. Why do you do that? You know what scares me? Kendall Hart Slater. One day you're gonna push me too far. And I'm not coming back. How far is too far? I don't know. I don't want to get to that place. Okay. I have these buttons, and... And when they get pushed... And people know. Exactly. But with you... I hold it in. Until you don't. But when you explode, it's huge. And it's usually my fault. I don't like this pattern, Kendall. Me either. Loving you doesn't mean that things can't change. And you know, I gotta tell you, a little less drama would be really good for both of us. Yeah, well, I admit that when it comes to Greenlee, I'm a nutcase. I don't like the person I become. Jealous and this paranoid freak. The person who doesn't believe and have faith in the people that she loves. You know, who wants to love someone like that? I like a challenge. Well, I don't want to be one. Look, I don't know how things are going to turn out with Greenlee. But I know how I want them to turn out with you. With us. I love you. I want you to remember that. I know that. So, come on. Let's go back to our room. I want to make love to no. you. No. I'm going to stay right here. And hold you. Okay. So hold me.